Right, leaving Burnham behind now along the broad track, which I've already seen cow pack on by the way. Here we've got Brent Knoll, which we're climbing up in a couple of hours' time and climbing down the other side. Fresh cow pack, look how fresh that is. Very fresh. They've either gone in to be milked, because it's milking time, isn't it now? They've either been going that way to the farm or they've gone this way somewhere. It's all a bit worrying, isn't it? Can't see any out here. Why would they bring them along this track? Right, this part of the walk, we're close to uh, the rugby ground. And as I've mentioned in the past on other videos, I used to play hockey and we shared the social club with the rugby club. I had a good four, five years as a younger woman in my, from 35 to about 39, 40. I used to play hockey for Burnham ladies and I had some really good memories of those times. I made some really good early friends um, when I moved back to Somerset from Reading. But then as I started nursing, uh, I changed professions from being a teacher. I decided I always wanted to be a nurse because I was a cadet nurse when I was 16. So I, but I couldn't do it. It didn't fit in with small children. I had four kids. But uh, when I moved, I decided I'd have a break. I did a little bit of supply teaching just to keep my money topped up a bit. And then I thought I'd go back to nursing. I'd train, and that's what I did. And uh, what happened, though, as a lot of people know with nursing, is uh, the hours, the long shifts, the changing shift patterns. You can't guarantee you could play hockey properly. So I only played one or two games. I used to try and turn up for training. But as a lot of people know as well, nursing is a very tiring, uh, exhausting profession, um, mentally and physically. And uh, I soon, it soon dropped away. And uh, all sorts of other things were going on in my personal life. Divorce, um, kids, teenagers. You know, it was all happening. So, basically, the hockey went out the window. But we had some amazing times. We used to go on tour. I think I remember at least two tours I went on. Uh, down to Devon. We used to go to Devon. We went on two tours down that way. Uh, I've never forgotten those times. They were really good times. Uh, I do miss the the comradeship, if you like, that I got when I was playing hockey with the with the girls. You know, my kids used to come along. Um, yeah, it was good. Good. Sort of. Right, I'm going to stop here. Do I have my? Don't know if there'd be any more. Um, shade so I'm going to carry on the walk. I've just had a nice little small little quiche ham and cheese and egg and all that really nice. So just a little small one about the size of a small saucer went down a tree you have to eat it and I got it out of the garage because I, I can't take perishables with me really I mean I bought a, a stick of cheese to go with a packet of cheese that I've got in my bag now uh, there's some cow packs been around but I haven't got a clue where the where the actual cows have gone. It's all a bit of a mystery really. Whether they've taken them into a field here first. There is some sort of evidence of cow pack there. But no evidence of field and that was very fresh cow pack. So all I'm thinking of it could be that they've gone in to be milked and they've taken them out this way. Because there's not, there ain't a lot of them I don't remember. But they could still be up here yet. Now there's a, a farmer I know, he used to play rugby and his wife, Wendy, used to play hockey. 
the same time as I did. She's the same age as me. They're both the same age as me. Anyway, he, um, John, he was called, he used to bring out his rugby mates on an old cart. I don't know if it was pulled by a tractor or a horse, I don't know. But they used to come up here from his farm. They joined this track apparently somewhere anyway and make their way to the Red Cow Pub where I'm contemplating having a shandy for a change. I don't normally stop there these days but uh, I might do. I, I might just have a half. They've got facilities there as well that I could use. Um, so I might do that today. Now isn't this blissful everyone? Sheila in the countryside surrounded by daisies long grasses there's the rugby field there you can see the lights um, the clubhouse will be somewhere can't quite see it now but be behind those bushes the social club for the sport and I spent many an hour there having a few bottles of ale laughing joking dancing yeah I did have a good active social life um, oh, still cow park. What I'm thinking, it sort of came to a bit of an end. Um, well, well, nursing didn't help because of the hours. Uh, I still used to get out and go up the local pub and join in festivities up there. But as for a wider thing, I didn't really join anything then. Um, it was all very hectic at home. Hectic at work. I was studying as well. I was doing other degrees um, so I've got three degrees now a master's degree, two bachelors and um, so I was always very active and I did join the army cadets for a, about four years as well actually, yeah I did I joined the army cadets and I had quite an active I was quite fit because I used to run marathons so I could do all the things they gave me to do like assault courses, running about, um, you know, playing all those games that you play. Um, so, up, you know, when I was 40 I did the Bulford Camp um, assault course. I've been on uh, the Limpsham firing range and things like that, and stripped and assembled SA-80s and everything like that. Uh, and the machine guns. I've done a lot of stuff actually. And um, oh, here you all are. Oh, I'm glad you're in there, cows. Some of you are hiding in the bushes. Hello, oh, that's a lovely smell. There's one with horns there. Don't you get through that bush down there, will you? I don't want you coming after me. <sighs> He's having a paddle in the water. I wonder how he got them through here then. But it is them. I can hear you paddling. I can hear you. You want a good old wash in there? Eh? It's the closest you'll get me. There's another track up that way. That take that if you follow that, that'll take you round to the rugby club. I remember there was a number of pathways years ago. And of course I was fit, I used to do running, jogging, marathons. Um probably set me up for being still able to do this sort of thing apart from being set back by Lyme bacteriums and um, other things there's the Burnham on Sea Barrow lighthouse which is residential it used to be an active lighthouse it's off the beach I mean if the tides started to change you never know it could become active again people I know painted that it was their one of their aims in their life was to paint that lighthouse, and they did. There's a bit of a cool breeze here. I should really put something over my head, really. 
I will do eventually. <sighs> yeah, I didn't take any pictures of the cows there. It wouldn't have come out very well. So there's Brent Knoll, which I'm climbing. The smell of cow dung is very, very strong here. Very strong. And I reckon those are the cows that have been... They either got out and were led back there or they've just been taken there because that was fresh cow pack. Yeah, the beautiful Somerset countryside. There's a willow tree there. It's very, very strong, the smell of manure. It's massive. I brought, um, I bought a bottle of Ribena for a bit of glucose. Um, I can remember the last time I did this. I, I ran out of water. Somebody ran to the cricket club and bought me some water. Well, I give him the money. He ran there because just in case I missed my bus. Yeah, I remember that. That was a hot day like this. That is... It feels about three years ago, but it could be four. Time goes very, very fast. And the changes in the church, they got rid of a lot of the old pews and put these lighter wooden chairs. Did lighten the church up, actually. Um, yeah, there's just changes up in Barrow itself with the some new housing, um, co-op store, where the pub used to be. An ancient inn, really. I don't know how they got... Well, they, t they pulled it down in the middle of the night. That's why they've done it. They just pulled it down. It shouldn't have been pulled down. It, was a, it should have been a protected building. It was an ancient inn on the main road. The Romans would have marched past that. It was probably an inn for hundreds of years. I mean, I've got the census is over a, a good hundred... 50 years of who, who, who had it. Right, Sheila, in a minute, when you stop to take pictures, I want you to put your headgear on because it's starting to get hot now. Okay, so we just go a little bit further. We just go up to these nettles, up to these thistles, I mean. Just go up to those. There's the over and out, everyone. <sighs> 